Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Coding Palingo. This is your Coding Indian. In this video, I'm going to explain how to transfer the data between one component to another component instead of your Angular application. Data transfer is a one of the tricky part of Angular application. Lot of the people having some doubt about it. That's why I'm designing to make a new video series about component interaction in Angular. Basically, we are using four method to transfer the data from one component to another component. The first one is pass the data using URL parameters. Here we can uh, pass some minimal amount of data using router parameters. The second method is event emitters. Angular have some default event emitters like input and output decorators. So we are using those decorator and pass the data between one component to another component. I will explain in detail in the next section. The third one is shared services. We can create a new service and uh, store some data inside of it and we can access the data at any component at any time. This is the most efficient method of data communication. Most of the enterprise application using this method only. The last and final one is local storage. Local storage is the one of the HTML5 feature. We can store the data into our browser memory. So we can access the data at any time at any component using the uh, local storage get and set method. These are the four methods I'm going to explain in this video series. Please keep watching. 